Good morning, beloved. Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Indeed, this morning, a great privilege and honor to be a speaker on behalf of the Word of God. I want to, this morning, um, welcome the Ecclesia who is going to listen to this Word of God. I also want to honor a Prophet Terry for inviting me to speak um, on this platform this morning. And this morning I also, I, want, I am Apostle Shireen February and I am a co-founder of Send to Serve Ministries. This morning I am going to um, speak on um, Judges 6 and it is about Gideon. But before I gonna start this morning, I am going to just pray. Can we close our eyes this morning and then we are are going to pray father in the name of jesus this morning we give you the glory the honor and the praise the adoration and worship lord god we are so thankful for your presence and lord god we thank you that your word is anointed and alive and father god your word shall not return void unto thee but it shall pleasure and prosper in the thing for which you have sent it for may your word stir up the hearts of your people and shift the paradigms of your people in the mighty name of jesus christ as we glorify the lord god as we praise thee as we come before the lord god knowing that you are a good good father you are forever faithful you are the most holy God and we just worship thee and bless thee and praise thee and thank the Lord for who you are so father bless the, re the, the, the preaching of your word this morning Lord in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and father I thank you Lord God that your word is going to fall unto fertile soil father it will germinate and it will bring forth a harvest in the mighty name of Jesus Christ so we thank you Lord and glorify thee in Jesus mighty mighty name I pray bless those father who's going to receive the word let their hearts be acceptable father God receptive for the word of God in the name of Jesus hallelujah and we praise thee and worship thee in Jesus mighty name amen and amen so this morning beloved I'm going to read from the word of God and I'm going to read from Judges 6 the people of Israel did what was evil in the sight of the Lord and the Lord gave them into the hand of Midian seven years. And the hand of Midian overpowered Israel. And because of Midian, the people of Israel made for themselves the dens that are in the mountains and the caves and the strongholds. For whenever the Israelites planted crops, the Midianites and the Amalekites and the people of the east would come up against them. They would encamp against them and devour the produce of the land as far as Gaza and leave no sustenance in Israel and no sheep or ox or donkey. For they would come up with the livestock and their tents, they would co come like locusts in number both they and their camels could not be counted so that they laid waste the land as they came in and israel was brought very low because of midian and the people of israel cried out for help to the lord when the people of israel cried out to the lord on account of the midianites the lord sent a prophet to the people of israel and he said to them thus says the lord the god of israel i led you up from egypt 
and brought you out of the house of bondage and I delivered you from the hand of the Egyptians and from the hand of all who oppress you and drove them out before you and gave their land and I said to you I am the Lord your God and you shall not fear the gods of the Amorites in whose land you dwell but you have not obeyed my voice verse 11 says now the angel of the Lord came and sat under the turbanth at Ophrah which belonged to Joas the Abizrite while his son Gideon was beating out wheat in the winepress to hide it from the Midianites and the angel of the Lord appeared to him and said to him the Lord is with you O mighty man of valor and Gideon said to him please sir if the Lord is with us why then has all this has happened to us so beloved this is the reading of God's word and indeed God's word is always always anointed so this morning we see that God has used Gideon in a mighty and powerful way and as we study the word of, 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 of the Lord we can see that Gideon represents um, the kingdom of God and it presents a uh, 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 apostolic prophetic type of people and as we see in the word of God that Gideon was used by the God uh, to judge Israel and that was about 1222 until 1182 BC that is before Christ and you know Israel has once again forsaken God and was terrorized and they were oppressed because and they were because of 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 forsaking God they have turned their back on the Lord God Almighty you know and because of that the Midianites they were robbers and they were the ones that was used to terrorize and oppress um, is the Israelites and the before the people they cry out to the Lord we can see in Judges 6 verse 6 that they cried out to the Lord and the Midianites they were the descendants of Abram's second wife Keturah and he was a son of Abram and Keturah according to the word in Genesis 25 with verse 2. So the Midianites, they were living by plundering. They were plundering and they were plundering the crops of the Israelites. And we can see the father used to pioneer um, 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 Gideon into a new season because here we see that Gideon he was the youngest son of Joas and he was not only the youngest son of Joas but he also um, the word says that he sees himself as the weakest of the clan in Manasseh and also that he he was not only see himself as the weakest in the clan of Manasseh but also as the least of the sons of Joas he was the youngest son and then also we see that he, they lived in um, in Ophra and that is on the the west west side of the Jordan and he judged Israel for 40 years and what really stood out for me about Gideon was when the people wanted to make him king he said he refused it and he said you know I will not rule over you neither will my son rule over you but the Lord he is going to rule over you and you can read that in Judges 8 verses 22 uh, until verse 23 so here we see that 
Gideon, he was a type of person that does not want to be seen even by people, you know, because he knows in the end the glory always goes to the Lord. And that's why, you know, he, he wanted to give the glory to God. And where do we find um, um, Gideon? We find him threshing weed but he was threshing weed in the wine press because he was afraid of the Midianites and that's why he was press uh, he was pressing weed in the wine press now the name of Gideon what does the name of Gideon means the name of Gideon means that he is um, means a warrior it means that he is a hewer or it can be also a feller. So here we see that God, indeed God, has used Gideon to cut down trees. And yes, it was to cut down idolatrous uh, systems and to res uh, reshape the, the destiny of nations. And we are living in such a time where we have to confront these idolatrous systems we are living in a time where we have to have a cutting edge mentality where we will really um, um, come against or confront all doctrines and beliefs and traditions where we will um, 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 come and, and, and confront all these things and, and, and we need to have a paradigm shift if we do all these things so we also see that the na one nation that oppress and oppose israel was honed down and god has used um, um gideon to do that also Israel, God has used Gideon to change the spiritual climate of Israel and to reshape their spiritual and national engagement with God because the people repented and they returned back unto the Lord and so they were delivered by the oppression and the opposition force, the opposing force of the Midianites. You know, um, the word of the Lord says, the angel of the Lord appeared unto Gideon. And while he was busy, you know, Gideon knows, he knew exactly what he was busy doing. He was dressing wheat until, and was waiting until further instruction and direction from God and leaders do understand that many a times we have to wait upon the Lord for further instruction until further direction and instruction is given and here we see that leaders also they understand that in the waiting period a waiting period is never a wasting period or a wasting season so i want to say in this time that we have been in lockdown for so so many many a times you know it has been five until it was to level two from le uh, level five to level two and then again back you know to level two and we are still in now in level one and you know during the time we could have sensed that people were so fearful and people there was a lot of frustration a lot of confusion and also um, people felt defeated you know because um, of the things that has happened people have lost their jobs businesses have closed you know the 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 economy of our land is in such a state you know but we have a loving God, a God in whom we can trust. And just as God sent the an angel to visit to, um, Gideon, God is also here and we have his Holy Spirit. And God has given his Holy Spirit now to us to co-labor and co-partner with him. And 
the, our greatest evidence of eternal strength we exhibited during our times of waiting for the Lord, for the manifestation of the promise of God. You know, we encounter God in different ways. And if we encounter God, we can never, never be the same again. If we look at Gideon, we see that Gideon was he was threshing wheat in a wine press and usually wheat are being threshed in the open air so that the wind will blow away the chaff. So yes, during this lockdown, people have experienced different types of um, challenges. You know, they went to hardships and they have uh, gone through tests and trials and tribulations but the one thing is that God is always with us and he says in his word that he will never leave us neither forsake us so God is with us and God is a God who is good the attributes of God is goodness and is forever faithful and as we look in the word we see that Gideon also he, he found himself in the face of adversity and was chosen by God oh. and heaven's endorsement was upon his life and it was declared over him despite the personal convictions that um, Gideon had about himself and many a times you know we also have all these personal convictions about ourselves we know we 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 many a times you know want um, um, have low self-image we belittle ourselves you know we walk in things that is not in the word of God or what God declares over our lives through his word and we can see if we look in the word of God God is affirming us through his word because we are blood bored the word says that we have not been bored with perishable things like silver and gold but we have been bored with the price the very very precious blood of Jesus Christ and we we are spirit filled. We are heaven uh, equipped with, 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 with a warrior. We are a warriors. We are warriors and we are God's workmanship created to do good works. And we are a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people whom God has called out of darkness into his wonderful light. We are the beloved of God. We have been called for such a time as this. And we are justified, forgiven, and we no longer walk in condemnation. And here we can see that, you know, God prophesies over Gideon a new identity according to um, Judges 6 verse 12 the Lord is with you mighty man of valor and a future was created for God's anointed warrior or vessel by prophetic utterances and many a times you know when we fell uh, are defeated or when we are in uh, being tested and in trials and maybe feel defeated we need to encourage ourselves in the Lord and we have to release prophetic utterances and prophetic declarations and decrees over us over our families over the job situations over the businesses over our communities, over the regions and even over the nations through our po prophetic declarations and decrees we can shift the destinies of nations and that's why it is so important to believe the word of the Lord and what the Lord is saying in the season to us because you know we have to even in this time we have 
had many a times where we were um, in the secret place, in the place where we have intimacy with God, where we have seek the face of the Lord and the heart of God, where we behold His face, the beauty of the Lord for who He is. And you know, in that is the times where we encounter God and an encounter with God, we can never be the same because it is when God lift, lift the limitations from us and qualify us for our future in, in assignments. The word of the Lord in Job 23 verse 10 says, But he knoweth the way that I take. When, the, when he had tried me, I shall come forth as gold. Our worth is processed by our warfare and to the degree of our submissions to the dealings of God. Yes, we have gone through uh, many things in the seasons, but the, things, but the thing is, how did we submit to God? Were we obedient to what the Lord has been telling us to do? And have we done that, that the Lord has already told us to do? Because God will give us an assignment. And when he has given us an assignment, you have already been mandated and has received the authority for that assignment. So we need to complete the assignment before God will use us again for the next assignment and we see when 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 Gideon you know emerged from the wine press where he was crushed and uh, um, anointed he we not only Gideon the Gideon people or the Gideon company or the the the, uh, the Gideon it's a comprehensive company of people because in this time I believe that there is a people and they are in you know in the throne room but they are also in the war zone of the throne room where they are warring against principalities and powers against um, evil spirits um, wickedness in high places you know where they are uh, warring on, on, uh, against these um, principalities and powers and they are the people it, they are a people maybe as the Lord also as Gideon as Gideon has said a people you know where he said I'm the weakest of the clan and I am the least in my father's house but God is looking for a people a people with no names a people you know that will arise from the mundane places a people that will have you know an encounter with God knowing exactly what God um, expects from them and we know according to the word of the of the Lord that an apostolic people a prophetic people, a people that have been legitimized and deputized by God, a people who knows that they God is the Lord, that He is the Almighty God, that He is Yahweh, the Great I Am, that He is the Sovereign God, the God that operates on a sovereign level. You know, they are the people that work the work of the Lord and sent by God for specific and distinct the assignments we can see that uh, that even if we look in the word we can see that um, Gideon he came from an obscure family I mean, yes we can see that Gideon came from a tribe a clan that was undistinguished and they were really you know um, an obscured people but look how the Lord has used Gideon to, to, to bring down the uh, idolatrous systems of the nations, you know, and this apostolic prophetic people 
is a people that will not retaliate. They will not circumvent. They will not compromise the word of the Lord, but they will come and teach and preach it boldly. They will stand. They will be aggressive as lions and they will release the roar with authority and so with the God-given ability that God has given them by grace. Hallelujah. They are a unique breed of people, a people, you know, who are not fatherless, but knows the blessing is to be connected to a spiritual father. They engage in father-son relationships, you know, that is apostolic in nature. And also they, their relationships are based on agape love and humility and also giving to others and servanthood apostolic people knows that god is relational but also generational in 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 nature then also spiritual fathers will lead the sons back to the image of god they are radical revolutionaries forceful warriors they are passionate lovers of the king and his kingdom they have the ability to transit quickly yes and in this time we have seen that we had to transit many a times it was passed over and we had to pass over you know we have to transition and many a times the transitioning period can cause a lot of frustration but in these times the they are an apostolic people a people that will arise that knows how to transit quickly they will transit from the throne room from the from the comfort zone they will they will transit to the war room and they will transit you know to 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 come back and 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 with the with the spirit of the lord we we know god is the one that is bringing victory to us or whatever we are doing but the thing is this we are a victorious people in christ jesus and this is you know they will have passion to engage the enemy getting hold of new territory and invite advancing the kingdom of God forcefully. They are people, a pioneers, trailblazers that will uncharted territories. They will blaze trails, you know, and they will take with them a comprehensive people, a comprehensive people whose hearts are connected and whose hands are doing the work that was given to them by the word of the Lord or by the revelation that they have received by the Lord. Lord, for we are an apostolic prophetic type of people who bold according to the blueprint of the heaven and we receive our revelation through we bold according through to the revelation receive as we are in the secret place encountering God as God gives us speak to us we bold according to the blueprint so we know pioneers Yes, they will push forward, you know, against all odds. They will push forward, breaking barriers down of opposition, stirring the hearts of the people to do great exploits for the Lord and for his kingdom. I know that this apostolic Gideonite company that God is raising up, a, p a people that knows how to war because they are mighty uh, 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 sons of God, sons of valor who know that they are warriors called by God to co-labor and co-work with the Holy Spirit, to co-partner with the Holy Spirit, that their hearts are connected they will arise in unity that brings about life power and blessing rejoicing and releasing a corporate voice a corporate sound 
purpose and vision of God, not only for the communities, but not only for the families' communities, but for the regions and also for the nations. Hallelujah. We praise the living God because he is the God that has given us this, this power. And the word says that for those who have received him, you know, he has given the right to be called children of the, the most high God. So if we believe in him and we receive him, he has given us, you know, the right to be called sons of God, children of God. In John 1 verse 12, that is what the word of the Lord de declares. And we see that this is not a breed, a people of action only, but their heart is connecting and also their hands are connecting to, to activate and applicate the very purposes of God to fulfill the God's plan on the earth. We have been placed on the earth, you know, to reign and rule as sons of God, as this apostolic prophetic people, you know, to take dominion, to subjugate the earth and to take dominion, a people that will advance the kingdom of God forcefully we in the season you know God has really just prepared us because this authority that has been given by God with this authority comes humility and God instructed Gideon as we read in the word to reduce the troops because like I said before in the end the victory is the Lord or the Lord's and many a times you know um, in this um, um, season in this era in this um, um, dawn that has dawned over us we can truly say that this is all about Jesus Christ it is nothing about ourselves you know it is all about Jesus Christ and this morning we know what the word of the Lord declares hallelujah the word of the Lord declares in James 1 verse 2 the word says that we have to consider it a joy when we experience trials because they test our faith. In 1 Peter 1 verse 7, the word declares that adversity refines our faith that is greater than gold. So adversity is the training ground for God's glory. And many in the body of, of Christ has gone through so much. But I want to encourage you this morning as a, a, a apostolic prophetic people to arise and know that what you have gone through, God has shaped you. You know, God has equipped you and he has shape you and equip you and teach you for something much much greater you know in this time God has changed our paradigm he has changed our um, um, perspective so we can in this time and in the season just know that God has done great and mighty things on our behalf I also want to mention this morning that if you find yourself in a difficult situation um, today, just expect God to come through for you. He will always um, come through for you. Many a times not in the way that you expect it to be, but God will always come through for you. The scripture reveals that trials precede precedes triumph and adversity 
prepares people for greater accomplishment. So uh, this morning, I just want to say that whatever you have faced, you know, arise as an apostolic prophetic people, a, ki a kingdom people, a people that knows how to war in this time and in this season and in this era. You know, the, the prophetic will, will change, you know, it will change your, your, your destiny. It will change because, you know, foretelling creates your future. So I want to say this morning that as a people of God, apostolic prophetic people, you know that you have been in a place where God has molded you, where God has shaped you, where God has empowered you, where God has equipped you, where God has revealed the deep hidden secrets of his word to you, where you have, you know, been um, um, heaven's um, DNA has been downloaded into your DNA. And this is the season where this company of people will arise. They will arise. They will be oneness in heart, in unity. For the word says that where there's unity, the Father commands a blessing. So arise, body of Christ. Arise, ecclesia of God. Arise in a comprehensive way and, and go and do the work of the Lord, that which God has called you to do, that which God had, has unctioned you to function in this season, in this time and in this era. So this morning I am going to conclude and I want to, even in this time, if there's anyone who oh, is saying this morning that I need prayer, that I have gone through a difficult time, I am still feeling defeated or I am frustrated, there's no doors opening up for me, that I'm looking for a job, that my business went down, that I'm in a financial mess this morning, I'm struggling with a child or I'm struggling with my daughter, you know, I want to declare and decree over your lives and I want to say the prodigals this has to come back they has to come back as we making the declaration and decrees that as for me and my household we will serve the Lord and in this time you can just raise your hand and prayer counselors will be used on this platform to pray with you so father this morning Lord in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Father, for your word, your word that is all powerful, your word, O Lord God, that is anointed, Father, and your word this morning that has gone out, Lord God. Father, this morning we making declarations and decrees, Father, that your people, your church, the ecclesia will arise in a, as an apostolic prophet prophetic people, O oh Father, a people, O oh Lord God, that is bold, Father, that is filled with Holy Spirit, a people, O oh Lord God, that will not retaliate nor circumvent, O oh Lord God, but they will know, Father, and they will be affirmed by the Word and the living God, who, whose they are, and Father, to who they belong, they will be affirmed, Lord, by the living word of God and they will know father who they really are in this time oh father that they will arise Lord God and father in Jesus name I declare and decree oh father God that they will shift oh Lord God from wherever they are oh Lord God in a place of dormancy in a place of complacency they will be shifted oh Lord God by the power Power of Holy Spirit and Lord God that you will do for them father what only you will do for them I declare and decree O Lord God job opportunities for them O Lord God that they will go out knowing father that the door is already open for them that they will know
No, O oh Lord God, if God is for them, who can be against them, Father? In the name of Jesus Christ, we make declarations and decrees that they will not, Father God, Father, be swallowed up but what, by what the natural eye is seeing, O oh Lord God. But, Father, they will have this paradigm, Father God, Lord, to come against, Lord, and confront the idolatrous systems, Father, of this world, of this age, O oh Lord God, that they will come, O oh Lord God, and through prayer and intercession, O oh Lord God, by speaking prophetic decrees and utterances and apostolic utterances and decrees, O oh Lord God, they will indeed, Lord God, Father, break down idolatrous systems and doctrines, O oh Lord God, and beliefs, and they will be rooted out from traditional practices in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. O oh, Heavenly Father, we just thank you and bless you this morning, Father, for transformation, for changing them, Lord, as you have changed the mind of a Gideon Father, a Gideon people, a people who are mighty sons of valor, O oh Lord God, a people who believe the word of the Lord and Father who will not look back to their past and to their circumstances, O oh Lord God, of the present or the past, but that they will know, Lord, is for them and that victory is theirs in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father God, we just praise you and thank you, Lord God, for a turnaround in situations this morning. Father God, we thank you, Father, for children, Father, coming back to the Lord. Father, we thank you, Lord, for your word that declares, Lord, that our children, Father, Lord, they will come out of the land of the enemy. They will come into the kingdom of God. We thank you this morning, Father, that your word says, Father God, that we will not be begging for bread, O oh Lord God. You are the sustenance and you will provide for the very need of each and every every person listening this morning father you will supply the need oh father lord god we thank you father for phone calls father ringing father god father for job opportunities we thank you we thank you we bless you lord god and we give you the glory father for businesses oh lord god father arising again oh lord god God, slowly but surely, Father, it will rise, Father, not by might nor by power, but by the Spirit of the living God. Father, give them godly wisdom and insight, Father God, what to do and when to do, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and Heavenly Father God. This morning, Father, we thank you that they are rising from from a place of defeat, from a place, oh Lord God, of embarrassment, from a place, Father God, of shame because what they have lost, they are arising, oh Lord God, and you are turning, Father, you are turning the tide, you are turning, Father, the situations around, Lord, and to the glory, Father, to your glory, and Father, to the extension of your kingdom in the mighty, mighty name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father God, we just thank you, Father, for testimonies, for your word says that we will overcome him by the word of our testimony and by the blood of the Lamb. And Father, we just praise you and honor you. We just give you the glory for you are indeed our Lord and our God, our Father, you are Papa, our Papa Father. And we just thank you in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord.
Espírito.